Developing a culture of nuclear engineering construction and operations is something relatively few people think about, but it could be the most important thing about nuclear power. That culture only happens when you build and operate nuclear power plants. You have to be deliberate, careful, and strict about safety. Consider that a nuclear reactor costs about 50 to 100 times the price of a commercial airliner. Crashing that reactor is going to make a much bigger mess than a commercial airliner crash, and cost orders of magnitude more. The public worries about the culture of safety at Boeing's factories, but a culture of nuclear safety entails vastly higher stakes. That's something we need much more than we need nuclear new nuclear technologies, or small modular reactors, or anything of that sort. Americans are good at software because we do a lot of software. If we did a lot of building and operating up-to-date designs of uranium-fueled pressurized water reactors, we'd be good at building and operating those reactors safely, on a budget, and productively. We would have lots of top students graduating with nuclear engineering degrees, and our engineering companies would have more experience with nuclear construction projects, and our utilities would have more experience operating reactors. There's no magic bullet for a culture of nuclear engineering competency. Small modular reactors won't change that, although, as with rocketry, venture-funded startups are a training ground for nuclear engineers. That's a good thing, but it's not enough. Just the task of keeping existing plants running and bringing the small number of viable mothballed plants back online will soak up all of that talent.